In this practice, we're going to be using a chair as a tool to improve the quality of our kicking. The chair will act as a physical barrier to psychologically force us to correct the finer movements involved in executing our kicks. We'll be focusing on five basic kicks, the front kick, the round kick, the side kick, the back kick, as well as the reverse round kick, sometimes known as the spinning kick. The basic format that you can use for this practice is to lift your knee three times to develop and check your stability when standing on one leg. Perform a slow extension of the foot after that to develop your stability as you are kicking and to finally perform a precise retraction of the leg to ensure that you are in perfect balance as you recover. If you're just starting out and have trouble maintaining balance and stability, use a prop like another chair by all means. During the extension of the foot, you can also use one hand to hold up your leg to your desired kicking height. Then gradually, do away with the physical assistance as you get better. As you perform the kicks, fix your eyes on a target in front of you to help maintain balance. Inhale as you lift the knee while maintaining good posture. Gradually exhale as you extend the foot. Taking the side kick as an example, fix your eyes on a target in front of you, lift up your knee three times, inhaling as you do this, and as you execute the kick, gradually exhale while ensuring that you have good control and stability before finally pulling back your leg to the initial position. Pay attention also to the different moving parts of the kick. At what point do you shift your supporting foot? Which muscle groups are you unnecessarily engaging? What bad habits do you make when you lift your leg? For instance, do you drop your guard every time you kick? How are you catching your balance? Do you rely too much on your arms whenever you start to lose balance? This is the whole point of doing a control drill. You need to be aware of what's going on in your body and consciously make it a point to correct them. In this practice, we are aiming for perfection. Take all the time you need to get your techniques correct. Here are four checks as you go through the drill. First is to of course use the chair as an obstacle. It is there as a training tool and not a decoration. Secondly, perform the techniques as perfectly as you can. Repeat until you get it right. And for you to get it right for every single detail, you need to perform it as slowly as possible. And last but not least, make sure you cut the kicks as horizontally as much as you can instead of going diagonally upwards and diagonally downwards.